Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can create an interesting evening scene inside Unreal Engine 5. So today's video is going to be a very 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 interesting video. I'll recommend you to watch till then. So before starting anything I will request everyone please subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Also, you can follow me on Instagram where I used to post daily updates or tips and tricks videos very oftenly. So as you can see over here, I have my scene setup and if I'm going to exit my camera view, you can see it's a very, very, very basic setup. But if I'm going to see through my camera, it's going to a very interesting and very calming scene you can see over here. So let me start with scratch. So I'm going in file and I'm going to create a new level. You can start with anyone, but I'm going to start with basic scene setup. I'm going to create it right before doing anything. I'm going to save it. So I'm going to call it a tutorial, something like that. So as you know, I always uh, used to start with very scratch so i'm going to select each and everything and i'm going to delete it so here in windows i have an option called environment light mixer i'm going to click it and i'm going to add my lights and add my all lighting setup so first thing first i'm going to create skylight right create a atmospheric light zero will create our directional light so i'm going to click on atmospheric light if you want another directional light you can click on atmospheric light one but i'm not going to do that so you have to create atmosphere volumetric cloud and create height fog so yes our scene is set up uh, very beautifully and what i'm going to do i'm going to select each and everything and i'm going to put it in my lighting folder it's easy or it's, it's recommended to manage your files and all so before doing anything i have to add camera so i'm going over here and i'm going to add cinematic and cine camera actor so yes this will be my cine camera actor obvious i'm going to change it later so let me little push it backwards something like that and what i'm going to do i'm going to create my landscape force so how we can do that so here in mode selection tab i'm going over here and here i have an option called landscape so i'm going to click it i think it will be okay for me if necessary i'll scale it uh, again so i'm not going to change anything and i'm going to create it so what will happen your landscape will create and in landscape i can start doing some sculpting pretty basic sculpting if i'm going to do this let's see what's happening and I am doing very roughly. So let's jump to my camera and let's see what camera is seeing. It's not that great. So let me, so might be I can push little backwards, something like that. Let's camera be on ground and let's adjust our sun. So I'm going to hold on control and L. And let's adjust like sun is setting down. Probably I can rotate it a little and let's exit and let's select our directional light and let's rotate it something like that and let's see through our camera. Volumetric clouds are acting like it's hiding, sun is hiding behind the cloud. So what I can do, I can go to volumetric clouds and might be I can start tweaking things like something like that and might be I can use lower heights as well. I want sun to be little bigger so I can go over here and I can go to my direction light and here I can start tweaking few more things like in direction light and here might be I can tweak source angle right. So increase our sunlight might be I can lower it down a little more. So let's select our uh, exponential height fog and let's search volume volumetric fog so you have to switch it on so little bit of very good amount of volumetric fog if you want you can use scattering distribution but i'm not going to do that i think it's okay for me so main thing uh, what i need i need to tweak few, few more settings or few more uh, sculpt as well but it's it's okay for me now i think it's okay for me i'm going over here just select our camera now we can start tweaking our things as well the first thing first i need to add a tree right 
So here I have a few trees as well. So if I'm going over here and, and if I'm going to choose static meshes and here I have a very, very uh, good tree, which is called black adder field 02 PP. So I'm going to add it as I'm going to add it. As you can see, it's pretty nice, right? So I can change camera angle as well. So a little uh, right hand side, I want my camera, something like that. And might be I can select my tree and just I'm going to add it. Something like that. If you want, you can scale it a little. But I think it's all fine. Again, I can add few more things as you have seen in reference. I have added few more trees as well. So I'm going over here and might be I can add uh, this tree probably in in backside. Somewhere around here. It's all up to you. It's all up to you where you want to put your uh, trees. So probably I can add few more trees like uh, I can add this tree. So I'm, I'm happy with my placements. And now here's the main part. Now I'm going to add smaller trees or might be some grassy tree over here if you want you can add more trees one over here one over here it's all up to you right so for me it's okay for uh, now same way we can add it so what i'm going to do i'm going to exit from this uh, mode and here i'm going to add foliages right right and in foliages i'm not going to use any grass but i'm going to use uh, these trees so i'm going to select few more trees so after doing that i'm going to click and drag over here in foliage mode it will take some time like i'm going to drop it it will take some time to generate some meshes and all once it, this is done i'll come back okay so it's all done now and if i'm going to see i have all my trees so i'm going to select each and every one and over here i'm going to lower down my scaling so what i want 0 0.01 and 0 0.03 and might be i can lower down the density as well so i'm going to lower down density by 25 percent might be i can lower uh, my density uh, to somewhat 10 it's all all your personal preferences and I'm having good amount of trees. So let's paint our trees and I'll come back once it's done. And now let's start placing some more foliages in front of the camera. So I have few more foliages or grass foliages as well. So I have my mega scan and if I'm going to select it, you can easily see I have few more foliages option as well. So let me figure it out where my foliages are. So here I have, so probably I can select this one. And as you can see, it's pretty small. I can exit and let's hit F on keyboard just to focus it and probably I can scale it and I'll start tweaking things. So now I'm done placing my objects and I'm done placing my grasses and all. So as you can see, I haven't textured my ground because I, I felt I don't need to do that. But the same way I was doing, I placed each and everything. I have all my uh, foliages. I have all my trees. I have settled down my sun little uh, downwards and I have my camera. If you want, you can add something called a post process volume so might be i can go over here and play sectors and i can i can type over here like post process volume so i can add a post process volume and as you know you have to do one thing like you have to check unbound infinite unbound extent so it will work on all the areas and one thing i would like to change it will be bloom yes so I can do this. So I, I think bloom intensity is too much. So I can reduce it down. So it will look little 
realistic like point one is good and if you want you can do all type of color correction you can do so you can spend some more time as per your creativity and you can create such landscape very short period of time so i hope this video will help you to understand the process and by using these processes you can create your own beautiful looking evening landscape quite easily so i am hoping that this video is helping you and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.